So I'm also minoring in visual and media studies, which I think is a good complement to English because it, the minor allows me to get quite specific in that department. And the specific area I've gone into is the theoretical side of visual media studies, which covers a lot of postmodern theory, specifically with Professor Mark Olson. And so I would not say that I have any technical skills from that department in terms of Photoshop or advanced uh, creation skills in there, but it wasn't necessarily anything I focused on. With Professor Olson, we specifically talked about um, this postmodern theory and, and his more advanced class that I took last semester, which was a graduate level class, bringing in PhD students from all over the triangle. He actually allowed me to kind of combine English and visual media studies. I was working with uh, Professor D'Alessandro as well here in the English department to do an archival history project about how poems are written. So with the Duke Library as well, we looked at the Walt Whitman archive there, we brought it over to Professor Olson, we talked about how archives are formed, then we took, took on the Alan Gerganis archive that's being formed in the Duke Library, and then I said, well, now why don't I bring these skills together and bring on the creative element as well. So I tried to build my own archive as I wrote poetry, capturing the written work, capturing the edits, capturing songs, photos, inspirations that built the poetry, as well as the digital side, which was uh, a big component of the VMS, which was saying, now we have Word and Excel and all these drafts that can be formed there, so even the hard drive itself can form the archive. So it was a very cool uh, intersection of everything, and I have a lot more respect for the drafting process, especially in Walt Whitman's day, and even now for how even the smallest edit saved on a computer could mean so much down the road when people may be looking at works in the future.